Jesus sent them two by two and gave them authority. He instructed them and they went and preached repentance. Hello brothers and sisters in Christ. Happy Sunday. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Teresa and I'm happy to have you here to join me in having a quick Sunday gospel reflection and singing some hymns of praise to God. So we begin as always with a prayer to the Holy Spirit in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your spirit and they shall be created and you shall renew the face of the earth. Let us pray. O God, who by the light of the Holy Spirit did instruct the hearts of the faithful, grant that by the same Holy Spirit we may be truly wise and ever rejoice in his consolation through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. It's been a minute, right, that I've, since I've done a video. I've been enjoying the summer break, but I'm back by God's grace. And let's sing a hymn of praise to, the, to God. And we'll sing, Come Now, Almighty King. Come now, Almighty King, help us your name to sing, help us to praise, Father all glorious, ever victorious. Come and reign over us, ancient of days. Amen. Today's gospel reading, Jesus sends out the twelve. He sends out, sends out his twelve disciples to go spread the good news, the gospel of our salvation. Our Gospel reading for today is taken from the Gospel of St. Mark, chapter 6, verses 7 through 13. Jesus summoned the twelve and began to send them out two by two and gave them authority over unclean spirits. He instructed them to take nothing for the journey but a walking stick. No food, no sack, no money in their belts. They wear, however, to wear sandals, but not a second tunic. He said to them, wherever you enter a house, stay there until you leave. Whatever place does not welcome you or listen to you, live there and shake the dust off your feet in testimony against them. So here our Lord, as he told his disciples then, he's telling us now because we are his disciples. We are the adopted children of God. We are the sons and daughters of God through Jesus Christ. And in Christ, Jesus Christ is sending us. He's sending us out there to preach his word. He's sending us there to not rely on anything of ourselves. He wants us to rely on Christ, rely on God. And God has sent us somebody that's always with us. He is the person of the Holy Spirit. He is with us. He's teaching us. He's in us. He's guiding, directing, giving us wisdom, giving us everything we need. The Holy Spirit comes with seven gifts, wisdom, knowledge, understanding, counsel, fortitude, fear of God, piety. So we are not by ourselves. So we can't rely on ourselves to do God's work, to preach the gospel. 
we rely on the Holy Spirit. And Jesus is always with us. He's always guiding us. Remember, he's always present with us in the Holy Eucharist. So we are always being fed by his own precious body and blood. Amen. Let me continue reading. I just wanted to put in there that we are to rely on God alone for everything. Amen. So they went off and preached repentance. God wants us to repent. He wants me to repent from anything I'm doing that's not of Christ. With the help of the Holy Spirit, we can do it. Whatever it is that we know we are not supposed to be doing, the Holy Spirit will remind us and will help us. Help us to repent from sin. Help us to help others as well that God has placed in our lives who we know are on the wrong path. The Holy Spirit will guide us and help us and will help all of us to repent go to confession often, to go to mass often, at least every Sunday, to live a sacramental life. Because at the end of life, that's all that matters. Did we know Jesus while we we're here on earth? Did we believe in Jesus Christ? Because he's the only way to heaven. So if you and I, and I know we do, we want to go to heaven, let us love Jesus Christ. He's calling us today to preach, to repent, to preach repentance to repent ourselves, to live holy lives. That's what the Lord asks, that we are living sacrifices. Oh, Holy Spirit, guide us. Help us to be living sacrifices. Help us to be holy. Help us to be holy, Lord Jesus. And the final part of this gospel reading says, The twelve drove out many demons, and they anointed with oil many who were sick and cured them. That's what comes with being in Christ we begin to do what Jesus Christ did. So apart from Jesus, we are nothing. Let us rely on Jesus Christ as we go about our daily business, which is preaching the good news. It doesn't matter our vocation in life. We trust in Jesus Christ. All we have to say is, Jesus, I trust in you. No matter what we're doing, we can preach the gospel, live holy lives, help others even if it's just a smile to somebody else or reminding somebody else oh i didn't see you at mass or encouraging your family members your spouse your children helping those who can't get to mass bringing them to church or helping them maybe somebody just needs help maybe doing chores groceries we are being christ's hands and feet we are preaching the gospel when we help our neighbor because the greatest commandment is to love love god love your neighbor as yourself and jesus wants us to love he wants us to repent and that's what today's gospel gospel is about spreading the gospel this good news that we have that jesus christ came from heaven was born of the blessed virgin mary he came he suffered he died for us to reconcile us with god and by jesus because of jesus in jesus we are adopted sons and daughters of god is that not awesome that is beautiful news that we need to shout from the rooftop amen amen short and sweet okay let's end this beautiful gospel reading by singing i think we should sing center of my life oh no let's sing only this i want what do we want to serve Jesus all the days of our lives and to dwell in his presence forever. Amen. Amen. God is good all the time. Okay. Only this I want, but to know the Lord and to bear his cross, so to wear the crown he wore. All but this is lost, worthless refuse to me. For to gain the Lord is to gain all I need. Only this I want, but to know. to bear his cross so 
to wear the crown he wore. Amen. Amen. And that is our prayer today on every day to know Jesus Christ, to know God. Amen. To love him, to serve him and to be happy with him forever in heaven. Amen. God bless you. I pray you have a beautiful rest of the week, a blessed rest of the week. Don't forget, God is good all the time. No matter what you're going through, say, Jesus, I trust in you. Let's pray the grace together. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. And surely God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. And we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. God bless you. Pray for me to our Lord Jesus Christ as I pray for you too. Amen. Amen. And God willing, I'll see you next Sunday. And we end in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Goodbye.